Hello, it's Dr. Brenda from Make Food Medicine Coach. And today I'm in Emeryville. And I want you to know what's behind me. Take a look. <laughs> that is the mighty Pacific Ocean. You know, I love the Bay Area because you can always come here and be so inspired by all the vistas that you see. And today I'd like to talk to you about something that is a little bit more serious and something that I'm really pissed off about it. And that is the amount of fake processed food that's being uh, filtered into the African American community. It's not real food, it's not healthy food, and it's causing all kinds of man-made diseases within our bodies. And it not only affects us, but it affects future generation. It is a cycle that has to be broken. I invite you to join this movement with me. So why am I so adamant about this? In 2010, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high cholesterol, acid reflux, obesity, and every time I went to the doctor, he was telling me about something else that was going wrong. I was fearful for my life. So I joined a health improvement, or enrolled in a program that changed the trajectory of my health. Why? You know, in 2013 census, it was reported that we have 315 million people in the United States, and of that, 45 million are African Americans. The National Diabetes Statistics reported and confirmed 29 million cases of type 2 diabetes in the country, and of that, 29, I'm sorry, 16 million are African Americans. That's alarming. We only number 45 million. 29 million cases of type 2 diabetes and we are 16 million of those cases you know it's causing us to uh, have our limbs amputated blindness cancer heart attacks strokes and baby boomers are dropping off at an alarming rate you know you can eat this non food for so long or fake food for so long and it will have a negative effect on your health. I'm happy to say that I am 69 whole healthy and complete years old and I'm very proud to say that and I want you to join my movement because it not only affects you it affects our future generations. If we don't break this cycle of eating this processed, genetically modified, fake food. We pass these eating habits down to our young and they too will be infected with all these man-made diseases and it does not have to be that way. So I invite you to join me. I invite you to go to my website, which is www.makefoodmedicinecoaching.com and take that free food, free food habit survey. And let me take a look at that and analyze it. And then sign up, there's a link, just click on it and uh, schedule a 30 minute consultation with me so I can review it with you and give you suggestions on how you can start to improve your health and live a better life. And how you can teach your children to eat healthy so that they are not succumb with all these man-made diseases that we are facing. Again, I'm Dr. Brenda with Make Food Your Medicine Coach, and I encourage you to go to my website, join the movement, www.makefoodmedicinecoaching.com. And so until next time, I'm going to leave you with a view of the Pacific Ocean. You have a good day, okay? Namaste. Okay, bye-bye.